Okay, so these are the parts that are going to complete the strike. A foot rest here and the seat backrest. And this is all galvanized uh, half inch conduit. Now, I didn't have the bike bender, so I just made this uh, bending jig instead of a uh, particle board. And I use a clamp to do the bends. It didn't come out perfect, but I mean, it's not too bad. to install this on the trike. These are already flattened out the ends and that'll join with that. So this becomes the, the backrest. That'll be the rest of the framing that makes up the bottom section of the trike. So I'm going to be doing that and I'll come back to this video next. Here's the trike with the additional parts, the uh, tubing for the backrest and also for the footrest. It's beginning to look more like a typical land sailor. I relocated this wheel to the front where it should be and I need to put some extensions um, let's see where is that pipe I need to put some extensions that are going to go from there back to the footrest here and I'm going to be utilizing pedals regular pedals here so that these will be on a push-pull uh, basis I think that'll be a little more comfortable here. That way I can rest my feet here and uh, I use the pedals. This piece right here is basically the same uh, conduit, uh, just a section of, I think this was uh, maybe four or five inches. I flattened it as uh, much as I could and uh, I try to make this loop here or half a circle uh, just using a five ton uh, press. I came out okay, but still needs a little bit more reinforcement there maybe just a, a bolt right through the center to keep this pipe in place. I'm using uh, 516's uh, hardware because that's the size of these holes here on the square tubing. It's very much the same hardware throughout except for these sections here. Now here I got a little bit creative and I'm using a, a conduit uh, clips which are these guys here. I had to modify the clips a bit, just basically flatten the ends. It's got a, a very close uh, hole here on the on the seat. Right now it's just attached to the top. Um, I think I'm going to need some better straps here because I, it's very hard to reach both tabs at the top and at the bottom. Unless I go really, really close to the edge here and I don't want to risk uh, breaking the plywood. So. Um, I think I'm going to uh, search for other alternatives. They do make straps, conduit straps, that are copper, I think, and you can cut those to length and they're perforated. Those will work uh, very nicely here. You just have to, you know, just wrap it, cut it, and drill the holes a little bit uh, more inward to the seat. So I think I'm going to go that, that route because this really doesn't not need that much support here. As long as you have four uh, connections there, it'll be nice and, and solid. The backrest is going to need some bracing here. So I think I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, straps here and just go with a, a brace from here to there. It's low enough to clear the elbows and it's uh, wide enough for a uh, good sized person to fit in here just over the uh, tubes here. I don't want to make these things too close because then it becomes uh, too, uh, too tight of a fit here. It's a little tricky getting in, but right now it's very comfortable yeah, getting in and getting out. So that's where I'm at right now. We're getting a little bit of wind here. My son is here, so I'm going to give him a ride on this thing. So stay tuned for more.